Hello again everybody, this is Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV. Today we're looking at a brand new 2020 Grand Design Transcend 261BH. Single slide out, bunks in the back, queen bed up front. Very nice floor plan, uh, new to the Transcend lineup. Uh, the Explorer's done very well for us. Also, do me a favor, if you like what you've seen, subscribe down below, give me the thumbs up, hit the bell. Um, I'm putting new videos on quite frequently, several times a week. If there's a floor plan that you have not yet seen, put it in the comments below. I'll do my best to get that listed for you. If you have any questions on measurement sizes, just let me know and I will uh, get back to you as quickly as possible. And now to this camper. All right, starting on the outside, transcend power tongue jack. Again, you see that 261BH logo right on that tongue jack. So very easy to find it. Just a little feature like that when you're looking through 30, 40 campers and you can look right at the front. Nice little add-on, two 20-pound LP bottles, spot for one or two batteries. You are prepped for solar, so a portable solar panel will hook to that, trickle charge your batteries. Magnetic latches for your compartment doors. Pass-through storage with motion sensor lighting. Your docking station for your fresh water fill, city fill, battery disconnect, and your cable hookup. And you got a nice 110 receptacle. And you can feed everything right through the bottom and keep this door shut. Um, about this door, most doors just have a lock on one side, latch on the other. A lot of times people don't latch the lock side it's just more convenient, so they're just latching one side. Every once in a while, you'll see the door start to bow. Grand Design puts a latch on either side, the lock in the middle. This allows contact at both ends, just allowing that door to stay more secure. So a nice feature there. All four corner stabilizer jacks. We have a dry weight of 6,354 pounds. Exhaust for your range, nice large tinted windows, ladder mounted on the side. So for roof access, we'll take a look at the roof on the transcend. You do have a black tank flush, pull valves for your black and gray tank. We are looking at a 30 amp service. Spare tire mounted on the bumper. You are also prepped for backup camera. You do have an outside spray port on the back as well. Outside kitchen, small electric refrigerator, two burner range. Tease right off your propane up front. You do have 110 receptacles. Your full length power awning, which is 17 feet. Outside speakers, LED lights. Black rims. Receptacle and cable hookup on the outside. Your large assist handle. Three step aluminum entry step. Very easy to fold in and out. Your other side of your pass through storage. Again, very clean open storage area. Going into the 261BH. Nice light linoleum floors. 
All right, real quick, giving you an idea of what it looks like with the slide in. You lose some cabinets, drawer, but you have full access to walk front to back to get in the bathroom, really to utilize anything. If you got somewhere where you couldn't open the slide, you can still get in the sofa, dinette, bunks, full access, and then again, just touch of a button, running right off the battery, puts the slide out. And look at what the floor space you gain. in really, what, 15, 20 seconds? So really opens it up with the slide out out, but you still have access to get to the bathroom, get in the refrigerator, get in the bed with the slide out in. Going from there, um, starting in the back, your bunk beds, two nice size bunks. Good storage down low underneath. Your bathroom, sink area, nice room around the toilet. Your retractable shower door. Really closes it off. The goal is to keep as much of that water in the shower as possible. Um, speaking of the shower. Again, I'm six foot five. I am touching in the skylight. So to give you an idea there for height, if you're under six five or six five or under, you're gonna be pretty comfortable. Um, exhaust fan. Your trifold sleeper sofa opens up into a bed. All right, so real quick setup and breakdown of the trifold sleeper sofa. Velcro cushions. Lifting up from the front. The legs are adjustable. You do have storage underneath for your pillows, your linens. And then there's the setup. You do have room to walk in between the dinette and the end of the sofa bed. So it does not completely block you out. Lifting up from the back and again, dropping down the cushions utilizing that Velcro. Very easy setup and breakdown of that trifold sleeper sofa. Solid blinds. Your booth dinette. Again, table drops down. Cushions make into a bed. Your TV is directly across from the sofa. Nice storage. And then you have your CD, AM, FM, DVD player. TV is on a swivel arm, so you can see that from the bunks. Kitchen area, so a good amount of countertop space, a lot of receptacles, so your coffee pot, crock pot, anything you need while you're camping, you can plug it in. You do have down low storage drawer, good spot for the pet bowls. Gas electric refrigerator. Exhaust fan for the range. Flush mount cover that pops up, acts as a splash guard. 
nice size oven. Again, your pots and pans drawer, stainless steel microwave oven. Again, good amount of storage overhead. And down low, large stainless steel sink, pull out spray head. You do have some hanging spots there on the wall, motion sensor lighting. In the kitchen, you've got a nice skylight, the built in speakers, and ducted AC. Also, in the kitchen, you have an exhaust fan here, so range hood and the exhaust fan. Nice cross breeze, both of those large windows do open up. You'll see the solid door going into the master bedroom. Bed's already up, so you can see the shocks holding the bed up. For this queen walk around bed. Again, blinds. USB 110 charging area, spot for another TV, overhead storage, and your hanging area, which is on both sides. Convenience area controls your slide, which I hit right at the beginning. Control your awning, lights inside and out, your hot water heater, all in one spot. As you come in, also a little shoe cubby hole, drawers, and receptacle. So a great new floor plan, single slide out with bunks. Let me know what you think. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope I answered all your questions. And if you have not yet subscribed or given a thumbs up, um, do so now. Putting new videos on at least every other, every couple days. Uh, if there's one you haven't seen, again, put it down below. I'll do my best to get it posted. Scott Hudgens, Dodd RV.